Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 1. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 27 of Book 1, which states that if you have two straight lines and another straight line falling on those two straight lines, then if the alternate angles, in this case this would be the alternate angle to this, are equal to one another, then the original two straight lines are parallel. So, before we begin, let's start with some definitions. Parallel lines, if you have two straight lines that continue on indefinitely, forever and ever and ever and ever, they never cross. Alternate angles, if you have our two straight lines with the third line crossing it, then alpha and delta would be considered alternate angles, and beta and gamma are considered alternate angles. So let's begin our demonstration. Let's start with two lines, AB and CD. Have a third line cross at points E and F. Now we have angles alpha and delta, which are alternate angles. And this proposition states that if alpha is equal to delta, then AB and CD are parallel. We're going to demonstrate this again by using contradictions. So let's assume that the lines AB and CD do meet somewhere far down the line at point G. So we're pretending that this is actually a straight line. So we have a triangle E G, F, with an interior angle of delta and an exterior angle of alpha. Well, according to our proposition 16, alpha, being the exterior angle, must be larger than delta, the interior angle. But we've already stated that alpha is equal to delta, so alpha cannot be larger than delta, in which case we cannot form a triangle on this side of our line, and consequently AB and CD never meet at a point G. So thus we have demonstrated that AB and CD are parallel lines if the alternate angles are equal. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.